the president need to do to sell his plan to the public? We're joined now from Los Angeles by branding expert Rob Frankel. Hi, Rob. Do, does he have to reboot, if you will, the whole message, or can he take some of it and then recraft other parts of it? Uh, yeah, he definitely needs to reboot it. He needs to recraft it, oh. but that doesn't mean he changes his product. He does need to change his messaging, which, believe it or not, has always been a problem for the Obama campaign. Well, but Rob, the question is, what is his product? Uh, is, it, is it this the creation of a new government-controlled insurance company that will insure the 47 million uninsured? Is it, is it something else that offers choice? I mean, again, I, I agree with you. You have to be specific about what the product is, but I don't know what it is, and I've been looking at it for several months. Absolutely. Not only do you have to be specific about what it is, because if you just use a broad term that carries a lot of baggage with it, like health care or reform, people are or always going to slap option, their own meanings into it. The word option, it. which doesn't mean a lot. No, and I'll tell you something. Very often in messaging, to get a new concept and its efficacy across, you have to go someplace where you least expect it but is still relevant. And I submit to you that they would have had a much easier time if Obama had channeled this more in the direction of accountability, because that is really the mm. message that everybody wants to hear. And, if, and for example, patients now would have to be accountable. Insurance companies would have to be accountable. Medical practitioners would have to be accountable. Now that's a message that's new mm -hmm. and that people would be interested in moving forward toward. Rob, I see what you're saying, but for a lot of people who enjoy the status quo and were happy with their situations, they say, well, I, I don't have to be, a, I've been doing everything right. I think perhaps maybe uh, the president would, would focus better instead of calling it an overhaul because then people who like what they have get nervous to say a tweak or a reform tweak's a little weak, but I, I don't know, maybe there was a way to not cause fear in the group of people who are happy with what they have. Exactly, but that's what I'm saying. You don't throw out the baby with the bathwater. He could have easily said, we're going to keep pretty much everything the same, but I want to make sure that everybody's accountable, and here are the processes that are new to do that, and then he could have sort of side-doored into these accountability process, which, for example, is a total motherhood issue. Nobody wants to be anti-accountability. Everybody wants to make sure that everyone's doing their part, and that would have actually diffused a lot of the partisan uh, arguments for and against. Interesting stuff. Rob Frankel, thank you very much, Rob. Great to have you on. Appreciate it. Thank you.